ever thought about those timeless TV shows that leave a lasting impression? Well, there's one particular classic from 1958 that stands out a thrilling journey through the Old West. It follows the life of a widowed father known for his exceptional rifle skills. But there's more to this show than just gunfights and cowboy hats. As you watch, you'll discover a mix of funny, shocking, and poignant moments that will keep you hooked. Have you ever found yourself recalling a scene long after the show ended? Or perhaps you have a personal story about how it influenced you? Share those memorable experiences with us in the comments below. We're eager to hear from you, so grab your popcorn and get ready for a ride through the Wild West with this classic TV series. Stay tuned for more interesting tidbits and unforgettable moments. A classic TV show from the late 1950s had a big effect on Westerns. Even now, many people still think it's important. The bond between a dad and his son was special and appealed to lots of folks. Full of action and drama, it grabbed viewers' attention and inspired other shows. People like its timeless values and memorable characters. It talks about important stuff, so it's still meaningful and has a special spot in TV history. It's cool to see how it changed TV entertainment. This old show has lasted a long time, leaving a mark that keeps affecting audiences around the world. It really changed the way people made similar stuff afterward. What makes this show special isn't just its exciting story, but also the way it talks about things everyone can relate to. In the world of movies, some actors have faced off against each other in memorable ways. For instance, Chuck Connors and Charlton Heston had two showdowns on screen. Connors played Buck Hennessy in a movie called The Big Country and Tab Fielding in Soylent Green. These roles showed how versatile Connors was as an actor. Another actor, Paul Fix, played Marshall Micah Torrance in a popular TV show called The Rifleman. He brought authenticity to the character, making the Old West feel real. In The Rifleman, Lucas McCain's rifle, a 188-92-44-40 Winchester, was more than just a prop. It became a symbol of justice and protection in the story. These actors made their characters memorable, showing us the power of storytelling in movies and TV shows. In the world of movies, there's a tale about an actor who made some interesting choices. He turned down a big role in a movie called Support Your Local Sheriff, so he could be in another one called The Wild Bunch. This actor, Warren Oates, didn't often play the main character in movies. He only got to do it four times in his whole career. One of those times was in a film called Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. Another time, he was in a movie called Chandler. There was also Cockfighter and Dillinger. But his most famous lead role was in Garcia, where he played a character named Benny. He got that role because the director, Sam Peckinpah, really appreciated the work Warren Oates did in two other movies, Ride the High Country and The Wild Bunch. Oh, and in the movie Garcia, two actors named Edgar Buchanan and Reese Williams did a great job playing characters named Doc Burridge. And that's the story of Warren Oates and his journey through the movies. Chuck Connors is known for firing 12 shots with a rifle in the opening credits, creating a memorable image of a sharpshooter in the Old West that set the tone for the series. Denver Pyle, famous for playing Uncle Jesse Duke in another TV show, also made appearances, bringing his own style to the series. Lee Van Cleef, who had previously worked with Carpenter, was considered for a role, adding excitement among fans. The creators carefully selected the cast, ensuring each member brought a unique touch. These choices played a significant role in shaping the show's enduring popularity. It's interesting to think about how different casting decisions could have led the series in various directions. The Rifleman remains a favorite among audiences for generations, captivating viewers with its mix of action, drama, and character development. Its lasting influence on the Western genre is undeniable. Reese Williams, known for his role in How Green Was My Valley, made his film debut in Hollywood. Initially hired as an accent coach, Williams ended up playing a prizefighter in the movie. Lucas, the protagonist portrayed as flawed, particularly in his overprotectiveness towards his son Mark, Oddly, Lucas never teaches Mark firearm safety. Lucas's stubbornness, bossiness, and ego add depth to his character. Warren Oates, notable for roles in significant films, appeared in five works recognized by the National Film Registry. Generations of TV fans cherished the character Lucas McCain, who stood out as a beloved father figure. He was known for his strong sense of what's right and his unwavering moral compass. Together with his sidekick, portrayed by Johnny Crawford, they formed a captivating team that viewers adored every week. Even after the show ended, Chuck Connors, the actor who played McCain, and Crawford remained good friends. Connors later took on a different role, working as a spokesperson for a government agency in the early 1970s. 
His commitment to serving the public mirrored the integrity he showed as McCain, leaving a lasting impact on fans. People still fondly remember McCain and his adventures showing how much the show continues to be loved through the years. In the late 1950s, a TV show premiered, shifting the landscape of primetime television. It took over a time slot previously occupied by another Western series. Throughout its episodes, there was a recurring character portrayed by John Anderson, who played a former commander from the Civil War era trying to escape his past. In various storylines, his character exhibited different emotions and actions from remorse to calculated attempts at self-preservation. During the 1960s, Vito Scotti, known for his talents as a magician and mime, made a memorable guest appearance on a popular sitcom, showcasing his magical skills in an unexpected role. This influential show, with its compelling storytelling and characters, not only enthralled viewers, but also left a lasting impact on the genre of Western television. Throughout television history, there have been actors whose performances truly captivated audiences. One such actor was Edgar Buchanan, a member of Theta Chi fraternity who played a significant role in The Rifleman. His portrayal added depth and authenticity to the show's dynamics. Alongside him, Chuck Connors, known for his role as Lucas McCain, delivered a compelling performance that resonated deeply with viewers worldwide. Connor's portrayal of McCain was so impactful that he was ranked 32nd in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. Another actor who made his mark on television was Jack Crushin. He appeared in various shows like Adventures of Superman and Lois and Clark The New Adventures of Superman, showcasing his talent and range as an actor. Alongside other cast members, Crushin contributed to the appeal of the Superman franchise, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. In summary, these talented actors left a lasting impact on television through their memorable performances, which continue to be celebrated and appreciated by fans everywhere. Edgar Buchanan portrayed Uncle Joe Carson on three other TV series, The Beverly Hillbillies, Petticoat Junction, and Green Acres. Jack Crushin met a peculiar fate, being killed by Martians in two different movies, The War of the Worlds and The Angry Red Planet. Chuck Connors faced a similar ordeal in both of his television western series, being stripped to the waist, tied to a tree, and left to die under a scorching sun by a group of adversaries. Despite the dire circumstances, he managed to survive both encounters. Jack Alum, born in the early 19s, began his acting career by fibbing about his age. Despite conflicting reports, his true birth year is believed to be 1920. Lucas McCain, a former lieutenant in the 11th Indiana Infantry Regiment, earned his commission at the Battle of Five Forks during the war. Doc Burridge, portrayed by various actors throughout the series, often saw different faces in the same season, 